Used by 87 of the Fortune 100 companies, Proofpoint is working to protect people, data, and their brands from cyber attacks. The CEO is going to tell me more about it, and he has a major announcement on this episode of Taking Stock. Proofpoint focuses on cybersecurity and compliance. We provide what we call human-centric security solutions, preventing against both inbound threats that are targeted on people and information leakage that occurs in the enterprise. And you've experienced some momentum recently. I understand you have two major announcements that involve the expansion of your platform. Why don't you tell me about that? We're enhancing, expanding our threat protection to not just protect against threats coming in via email, but coming in via any other way people may collaborate. For example, SMS, social media, iMessage, WhatsApp, regardless of how people are collaborating, our collab protection solution are gonna protect, protect them just like we protect an email. And secondly, our information protection solution, which is now becoming majority of Fortune 100 customers are using it. We're extending that technology to protect against proactive and reactive way of managing the posture of all applications and identities. Yeah. This way, all these account takeover issues in both sanctioned and unsanctioned applications that happen can be protected via our platform. Yeah, and you know, uh, AI, Gen AI, is at the forefront of conversations around the world. So talk to me about how you're implementing this technology into your business model and how you stay ahead of the evolving landscape when it comes to cybersecurity measures. Well, think about Gen AI, what it has done and enabled threat actors. Used to be where you needed good grasp of the language and it took time to create a targeted attack. Not anymore with Gen AI. Anyone can use any of the tools to re to create a pretty sophisticated attack and manage it easily. So we have had to use AI to defend against AI. At this point, our Nexus Technologies, which is an ensemble of models, and we're making them more and more sophisticated, are defending our customers against all the threats that are coming in. And we have introduced language models, and that's where our adoption of Gen AI has been. And language models can detect the intent behind the attack so that anyone who's writing threats using Gen AI can actually be blocked because our technology can detect the intent and if, it, if the intent is bad, it'll condemn the email or condemn the URL that's being targeted for an individual in the company. Does that go for deep fakes as well? It goes with all forms of deep fakes as well. We can detect if someone is trying to have an intent of really stealing, as in business fraud or phishing, and if someone's making any kind of an, uh, an attempt by faking someone else, we can detect that. And you know, you recently announced the end-to-end -end information protection framework. Talk to me about this and how you're really bolstering all of your offerings for your customers and what it means for them for the near term. If you think about information protection, you know, information security, information protection is the key for it. Now, the hard part with information protection in the past has been all of the prior you know, technologies have taken a content-centric approach, as in like, hey, this document has to be secured. This document has personal information, so it must be protected. That's not practical anymore when so much content is being created. Instead, you have to really think about the intent of what people are trying to do, which can only be done using AI. And that's what we have built, which makes the information protection solution to be adopted and implemented in fraction of time be much more high, high efficacy and provide return in less than five months using our solution. Now, how do you do that in a repeated fashion? After learning from many, many customers, we decided to code up the best practices in a framework, a framework that any of our customers and our partners can adopt and really implement an information protection program in their own organizations with high speed and real quick returns. And what would you say is your key priority for the rest of the year? Our key priority and our mission stays the same, which is to enable our customers to have high protection for human-centric security. Can you tell me more about some significant acquisitions that you've made in recent years to help strengthen your portfolio position? We acquired a company called Tessian that brought in new AI capabilities and relationship graph technologies into Proofpoint. Now that's powering 
many of our AI development for email protection in terms of checking the behavior of how users are communicating with each other. Let's say Trinity, I, you and I just met, you want to send some kind of an email to some other submit, but because you and I just exchanged emails, Microsoft Outlook autofills and incorrectly places my email address while you were attempting to send email to some other submit. Using our relationship graph, we will be able to tell that specific email with that specific content should really be sent to the other submit in your address book and it'll nudge you. Yeah. Trinity, do you really want to send the note about some other company, about some other topic to submit at Proofpoint or submit at someothercompany.com? This is the power of relationship graph technology we have brought in with Tessian and we are seeing our customers love it being integrated into our platform because this is a real common problem that I believe you and I and everyone gets into every day. Well, thank you so much for joining me on Taking Stock. Trinity, thank you for having me.